Hi, Jim Harper with Secret Garden Bees, and I'm here to show you our bottling tank and uh, filling machine. And this was partially paid for by the University of Mount Olive through the North Carolina Tobacco Fire. And this has just been a total game changer for our operation. Before we had this, we were bottling from a five gallon bucket. It was slow, it was not very efficient. Uh, now we can put 300 pounds in those two tanks and uh, it comes out through here for this uh, bottling machine. What we've got is two max at 25 gallon heated tanks, which allows us to control the temperature of the honey. And I've got date and max filler here. Uh, you can see they're just able to crank through this honey now and it really gets our production up and decreases our labor requirement here. That particular machinery has worked out so well for us. We've had a few learning curves as we did this. Some things that I had to learn about were the stainless steel tubing that's required to put these two together. I've never worked with it before, the sanitary tubing. I had to learn how that worked, how they connected together, where to get them. But once I got it together, it functions extremely well. I went with two 20 volt heaters on these so I could decrease the amperage. Maybe a lot of you out there have a shed that you're using, like me, that doesn't have a tremendous amount of amps going to it. So by switching over to 220 and getting 220 volt plugs in there, I was able to decrease how much power they draw and then keep under my amp out here. Last thing we did, you can't see it out here, but I recommend that everybody does this who has a small farm. I got a sense monitor that I put into the electrical box. What that does is monitor how much electricity I'm using out here in this particular building. That's really important because when it comes tax time, if I've got an accurate count of how much electricity this building used, I can write that off on my farm taxes. So that's a cool tip I figured out. But overall, uh, I would not have been able to do this without the uh, North Carolina Tobacco Fund grant from the University of Mount Olive. This has uh, just been huge for us. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Jim Martin,